What's up, Scorpio? It's Tina from Twinkle Star to Row. Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. We are here today to do your, oh gosh, it's November. Holy cow. November 2019 general and or love forecast. We will see what the cards have to say. Uh, Scorpio, I do sound like crap and that is because I got sick. So um, that's why this reading is late. Also, I do apologize for my voice going a little bit in and out. <clears throat> Just cleansing my space real quickly, Scorpio. Okay, so happy birthday, happy early birthday, happy belated birthday to all of you. It's Scorpio season, and I do well in Scorpio season. I'll tell you, I love me some Scorpios. I don't have too much of it in my chart, but I just get along great with Scorpio, and I feel like that's why I do well. So this is like the best time of the year for me. Libra into Scorpio, awesome. Okay, all right. Spirit guides, universe, guardian angels, and ancestors. <clears throat> this reading is for the zodiac sign of Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you. Okay, Scorpio, while we are shuffling, just in case you have not seen it yet, please do go visit my Etsy shop. It is linked down below. I have oils like you wouldn't believe. Um, if you looked at it last month, I've actually added a ton of new things this month. Uh, these three oils that I have here are Sweet Attraction. This is just to attract the sweetest things in life, the sweetest people. It can be used for love, money, um, to attract just nice, good people in your life, friends, etc. cetera. Uh, this is Give Me Your Money. This is the favorite bestseller of all of the oils um, because it's so much fun. When you wear this oil or when you use it, people tend to give you things. Um, it's especially good if things are, if, if, if you, um, if you, people have borrowed money from you or borrowed anything from you and owe it back, it tends to, to, uh, help them, encourage them to give it back. Um, I also have mercury oil. It is mercury retrograde right now. Uh, this helps improve communication, helps you kind of navigate through mercury retrograde. All right. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. There's a lot of stuff down there though, so do go check it out. <clears throat> so yeah, sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What can Scorpio expect for the month of November? All right, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. This could be an Earth sign that you are dealing with, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. For some of you, this is your mother or a motherly figure in your life. Um, for some of you, this is about getting your money right, okay? Um, this could be money coming in for you. This could be money uh, stabilizing for you, finances stabilizing for you. Others of you could be getting married or having a child because she is the wife and the mother of the deck as well. Then I have the Seven of Cups reversed. This is... Um, this is something was very confusing to you previously, and the confusion is clearing up for you. This is getting clarity. It's also making a choice or a decision, Scorpio. So it could have been that you had a lot of options previously, and you're narrowing down those options. It could be somebody picking you, you picking somebody else, picking the right job for you, the right job picking you, something along those lines. <clears throat> Again, I'm so sorry about my voice, Scorpio. <sighs> Judgment. Oh my gosh. Judgment in your recent past is awesome. It is literally the most positive card in the deck next to the world. The Page of Wands and the Four of Swords reverse. So that's getting news or communication. Could be from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. In the present energy, Scorpio, we have justice. Legal matters going your way. Also could be dealing with a Libra, but things being balanced out for you. Next to that, we have Temperance reversed. Okay, Temperance reverse can be a Sagittarius. That's not not doing so well, okay? It can also be losing your patience, okay? Temperance is all about patience. When it's in the upright, it's patiently waiting for something. When it is reversed, it is um, losing your patience or being impatient waiting for something, okay? Losing your temper as well, it could be. King of Swords reversed, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, it could be like a miscommunication as well. Um, some of you may be dealing with legal matters. Justice is the court system or judges. Um, you have judgment here too. Both of these cards are court cards, okay? Court matters, cards, legal matters. The King of Swords tends to be an attorney um, sometimes. So this could be like... Um, <coughs> This could be like you are winning a legal battle, Scorpio, and the other person's attorney is having a fit or not having it, okay? Let's see. Near future, Scorpio, we have the star. Dreams and wishes coming true. Uh, dreams uh, and wishes being granted for you. It's also a card of healing, okay? Um, also could be a card of Aquarius energy. Four of Pentacles reversed. Um, definitely could be energy of you letting something go, uh, spending money on something, but typically that's something that we were holding on very tightly to, and now we're letting it go. Page of Swords reversed is um, 
spying, okay? So usually that means it's an air sign. It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but that to me tends to be that you're spying on someone or someone is spying on you. It could also be with the King of Swords reversed here that there's a block or lack of communication. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards. <coughs> I'm gonna take a sip of my tea, Scorpio, because I cannot talk, obviously. Okay, so judgment, judgment, judgment. What is judgment in the recent past for Scorpio? The Six of Wands. Again, this is your guardian angels coming down and wishing you a victory. You won at something, Scorpio. And it was literally with spiritual help, okay? Page of Wands, Two of Cups reversed. You could have gotten news or a message of a breakup, all right, that somebody in your recent past broke up. Somebody around you could be you as well. Okay, Four of Swords reversed. That's, again, messages coming in, communication coming in. Seven of Swords. Okay, somebody told you something, Scorpio, that was a lie. Um, that's that's not truthful. All right, now it could be somebody else, or it could be you telling somebody something that was not the truth, okay? Could have to do with a breakup. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have told you, Scorpio, that they broke up and they didn't. It almost feels like that. Justice. What does justice represent for Scorpio in the present? Knight of Cups reversed. Okay, so Scorpio, that can be you. It could be another water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Um, Knight of Cups reversed is usually rescinding or taking back an offer. So you may have been offering your love, your cup of love to somebody, Scorpio, and you found out they were lying about being broke up. Okay, temperance reverse could have mean you lost your temper about this situation. Let me see. Yeah, four of cups reverse. It's like you, you lost it basically, or the person lost it if they found out you were not broken up. Four of cups reverse um, can be um, reconsidering an offer that was once rejected. If you look at the card this way, he's rejecting this offer. He wants nothing to do with this offer because it's coming from a gray cloud, right? It sucks. But when it's like this, maybe somebody's reconsidering something that was once rejected. It could be that you didn't have the full story, Scorpio, or somebody just misinterpreted something with you. They didn't have the full story about your situation. King of Swords reversed. Seven of Wands reversed. Okay, that, that to me means that um, it's like either somebody won a competition for your heart or for your time or for your energy or you won theirs, okay? Beating out the competition. As you can see here, there's a lot of competition for this person. They're like breaking down the door. But when it's like this, it's like that person has either put an end to that by picking someone or vice versa. The star... The King of Wands. Some of you are heavily wishing for an Aquarius or a Leo, an Aries or a Sagittarius, okay? Or you're taking action to make your dreams come true. The King of Wands is the King of Action. Four of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. Letting go of something that was not fulfilling you emotionally. It could be an old love especially um, so that you can move forward into your wishes being fulfilled. Next, we have the Page of Swords reversed, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Okay, you're maybe waiting on news or communication from someone or something, and um, it's coming a lot faster than you think, especially if it's news or communication about money coming in or an earth sign, or Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. All right, Scorpio, I am going to continue this reading over on Vimeo. I'm going to do a deep dive on Scorpio singles, Scorpio couples, and Scorpio finances and career. Um, if you want to check that out, that will be linked down below. Don't forget to check out the store. I add new things every few days to the store, especially for the holidays. Um, you may want to follow it now because I probably will be doing some stuff for Black Friday. Um, so go ahead and follow it now. All of my stuff makes really good gifts, especially for those who are enlightened, such as yourself. Obviously, if you're watching this channel, you're, you're really aware of uh, what's going on spiritually. So um, please do go check it out. Otherwise, and if you need a personal reading, just email me, trustintruthtarot at gmail.com. Um, have a great rest of your month, Scorpio. Happy birthday again, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.